Hello, um, my name is Dr. Lily Bonart. I am an acupuncturist here at the Center for Health and Wellbeing. Um, in keeping in the spirit of the winter solstice, I thought it would be appropriate to talk about the importance of staying warm um, from a traditional Chinese medical perspective. So in Chinese medicine, we look at different environmental factors such as cold, heat, dry, damp, wind as being reflected within our bodies. Um, in the summer, when it's warm, we're moving around, we're more active, it's, it's warmer outside. This allows for more circulation and um, just optimal well-being. Um, in the winter, things are not moving or growing. These same ideas can be reflected within our bodies. So um, when there is internal cold or, yeah, cold, our chi or energy can become stagnant and this can ref can result in various issues like digestive issues and problems, um, physical pain, um, menstrual issues, infertility, and the list goes on. So when patients come in with um, any one of these things, we often think of internal cold as being part of the root and warming up the body uh, to alleviate the issue. Um, from a Chinese medical perspective, there are certain organ systems that like to be warm, the kidneys and the digestive organs in particular. So uh, let's think of the kidneys as sort of like um, the burner under a pot. When we feed our body good nutrients through food and drink, the kidneys help to steam up this these nutrients and, and send it out to our bodies and our cells for, for growth and repair, for healing. So um, it's important that we keep that, that kidney fire hot and lit so that we are uh, transforming and transporting our nutrients as, as best as possible. So I often recommend to patients um, that they use a heating pad on their low back to support their kidneys and their adrenals, also on the abdomen to support that digestive fire. Um, we can focus on warming up our diet to uh, help support our digestive flame. Um, we can do this by eating warmer foods such as soups, stews, um, cutting back on colder foods like smoothies, juices, um, raw foods such as salads. Uh, if we are eating those things, we can warm them up by having a ginger tea or warm water with lemon following um, the consumption of those foods. We could also uh, cook things like cauliflower or beets and add them into our smoothies to help warm up the therapeutic nature of the smoothie. Um, warm baths with Epsom salts are always great. Um, and keeping your socks on all the time is super important, especially for women and especially for women who are trying to get pregnant and or struggling with menstrual issues. Um, the kidney meridian begins on the bottom of the foot. So when we step around cold floors barefoot, this kind of sends a cold shock right to the kidneys. And as we previously discussed, it's important to keep that kidney flame alit. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps.